subscribe to film fair and press the bell icon so i have known her as a child and i've seen her rise and rise and today she is changing nappies she was a star and she continues to be a star red hot right now please welcome my guest karina kapoor khan yes hello <laughs> lovely to see you in front of the camera <laughs> <laughs> okay so tell me how does it feel uh, not sleeping in the night changing nappies or you as usual leave it to the nannies to do it no nothing like that huh. i think i as you know i've always been a hands on actor i've always been hands on in my relationships i've mm. always and i'm going to be hands on even now mm. you know i mean of course i never practice changing nappies i don't think any mother does that it just comes mm. organically it happens mm. on its own and um yeah I, i would think it's the best phase of my life but besides the physical transformation or what what you, something shifts alters in you i think what shifts is that automatically you just realize that your life is not your own anymore mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. even though of course in terms of work in terms of you know my own personal life that's always there but you just realize that your heart belongs to someone else actually now and has the relationship between you and saif changed from girlfriend to spouse to now you're like parenthood has that changed the equation i you know i think that all these are very cliche things by the book that oh you know like husband wife now from girlfriend boyfriend they become husband wife then after husband wife now when the kid comes then you know marriages they become like this so, so you're as very easy as ever as predictable huh? huh no so i think we and saif are you know we're just the same now your best friend has two babies i know that <laughs> now that's why i just told him yesterday i said karan your three students have arrived <laughs> <laughs> two boys and a girl again you will be accused of nepotism <laughs> oh god please really no be well it's fine yeah yash ruhi and temu <laughs> student of the year 10 <laughs> <laughs> I already told him that. <laughs> and there also you'll be giving you'll be the typical star mama saying facing the night. I will be chilling on my own, hanging <laughs> out maybe me and Saif in some villa in Saint Tropez. That's my dream. I mean I, I'm sure you've spoken about this before, but I remember when your kid was named and all of that was yeah. so much you and cry. You think we as a society are getting a slightly more insular and less tolerant of stuff. Like, I mean people just is it because of social media? Yeah, no, I think that because now everyone has an opinion and everybody's opinion is being heard. That's mm. the problem thanks mm. to Twitter. um uh, temur was not even a few hours old and people were just writing long long uh, suddenly everybody became a historian <laughs> on twitter and instagram that was the greatest thing and the best part was that the whatever they had known and whatever they were writing was rubbish because even the history facts were nonsense mm, 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 because mm. the mongol warrior was actually temur mm, he was not temur yeah yeah and temur means iron and strength but for somebody who's so off uh, social media i'm i'm told you're a pathological social media stalker you're stalking thanks people thanks to people like you guys <laughs> who are forcing me and saying that come on get on to twitter come on do this come on do that but so d- despite not having a twitter account i'm sure you have some fake account well i i have my sources <laughs> yeah. i i i'm very well informed you and ranbir your brother are bbc you all know everything how is it possible but we get all like information net. from you karan i have nothing i am like 6 all... seasons behind yeah, i yeah, have yeah. no nothing rubbish but do you think digitization has changed our lives in any way i think so na how now everybody is just like on like their phone everybody is just like interested in like checking instagram and who's everything is about the picture you to are the biggest talk on instagram <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, tell me. Uh, you know, everybody talks about body shaming, and you know, when you put on weight. I remember when you had come to the size zero, people had there was a, like right. a backlash. How how do you look back at in retrospect? I think that you know, sometimes you have to embrace yourself in every part of your life. Hmm. Like a lot of people, when I walked Lakme Fashion Week, exactly forty days after I delivered. uh people were like lovely. not many women have the courage to do that because obviously i'm not a perfect size i've just delivered a baby like you know 40 days ago uh, back and i was like it's okay but if i have confidence and if i'm looking great i'm feeling right. great right. i think that's what's important and whether your size 0 or your size 10 i think that it's about you know it's the way you feel so tell me what is the toughest film that you worked on so far i think that it was chameli and umkara mm-hmm. i was very young and you know chameli i was just 22 and a lot of people were like 
I don't know if she'll, you know, look like a girl from Kamati Pura and, you know, if I'll be able to play that part, if mm -hmm. I would pull the role off. So I think that was something that was very challenging for me, which I, you know, thought. Because coming from a very different world altogether mm -hmm. to, you know, adapt yourself to that character, that was really tough. Didn't you and Saif have some no kissing stance or something? And your busy kissing, uh, Saif was busy kissing in Rangoon, wasn't he? Yeah. Has, has that changed? But we have a no kissing policy off camera, na? Now on camera, if he kisses somebody, that's fine. How is no kissing policy? You're busy kissing off camera. As long off. as he kisses on camera, not off camera, <laughs> na? Battery, that should okay. be the policy, na, in life. I was kissing a lot of camera. <laughs> That's fine. So I think that was the main thing. I think, in fact, it was not many people know. In fact, I think it was Sarah who actually we discussed it with. Mm -hmm. So Saif told his daughter that, you know, we have this, uh, like, we've decided that not to kiss on screen. So she was like, I think that's really silly. Because y'all are actors. And, you know, the films that are being made today, I don't, mm -hmm. I mean, there's, you know, there's nothing wrong if, you know, two characters have to kiss each other. Like in Ki and Ka, we were husband and wife. Now mm -hmm. I can't be like, okay, we can't kiss each other and it has to be that, flower wala peck. Yeah. So Balki was not going to obviously agree to that. He was like, so when Sara, she was like, listen, guys, as long as you all don't kiss off screen, I think you all should just go ahead and kiss on screen. <laughs> so she was one, I think, you know, somebody who really influenced us. Nice. And now Sara is going to make her debut soon. It's crazy, I no? know. So I'm going to be the star mama on the set. Listen, why do I need to? I'll be on my own set, yeah. <laughs> and I think today's generation, they're quite all there. Also, it's very interesting, you know, you came at a time when you were sort of compared to, say, an Amisha Patel, and then you were compared to, say, a Rani Mukherjee and Preeti Zinta, and then the tight turn, and suddenly you started getting compared to a Priyanka Chopra and, uh, Dip I mean, uh, Katrina Kaif, and then suddenly it became, oh, in the time of Deepika Padukone and so on. So, you, I mean, despite being and this... And then Alia, don't forget <laughs> yeah, that. And then Alia. Uh, do you feel... Uh, do you feel like a veteran or do you feel flattered or what, what do you... No, I think I feel confident for the fact that I think I've always risen above my hits and flops. It's mm -hmm. always been mm -hmm. about my passion, about my work and I'm very confident of my talent. And um, nice to know that it's a benchmark. That Beautiful. somewhere, yeah. you know, my career graph has been a benchmark because not many actresses have been able to work 17 years at a stretch. Mm. You're also you're endorsing so many brands, you know. You do it for the money or you do it because you genuinely believe in all these brands? So, should I give you the right answer? Or Wrong should answer. I just be like a Miss World and say that I really believe in like <laughs> everything? But when you did Prega News, and it made, it but why not? Of course. Interesting. But that I yeah. do believe in. But why not? It's, it's awareness. Yeah. You know, that is one brand that, of course, I mean, it, it helps so many women out there to even know, you know, mm -hmm. that you've conceived and um, it's a high quality top brand. Mm -hmm. And, you know, most of the brands, I just have a thing that I don't endorse cigarettes, non-vegetarian food and alcohol. What about uh, strategizing your career? You feel at times you went with the flow and you did films for friends. And yeah, you, totally. Uh, do you regret, like, say, I mean, I'm sure people would have asked you this hundred times, but, you know... Say not doing a Ram Leela or lots no of No regrets films. in my life about yeah. anything yeah. in my life. Mm -hmm. I never look back. You've ne so you never strategized a career? Mm -hmm. Strategy though shouldn't be there because if you're confident of your talent, you know, everything will fall into place mm -hmm. and there will always be something else. How has your mother taken to grandmotherhood yet again? You know, how Loving it, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's like... I mean, you know, it's like for her, it's like her baby, no? Mm -hmm. Because for her, it's the greatest joy that her daughter is, you know had a baby and I think that I'm so lucky because you know both uh, my mom and dad are very very hands-on they love kind of spending time with their grandchildren Samira and Kian included um, and of course Temur being the youngest is now getting pampered getting pampered and is Lolo hysterical about the baby yeah, yeah. yeah. Lolo is like everyone's like she's like the second mother so if you say you're a fraud mom you're going to leave the baby and go to go shooting no no I'm not, I'm going to take my baby with me even on set. Will your sure. baby have airport looks too? Listen, these <laughs> airport looks, please somebody stop them. Yeah? I'm going to, I'm going to, that's my next section actually. I'm going airport to, I'm going, looks. I'm going to show you some airport looks. I'm are going to you, people talk. are like, people are like <laughs> pressured, na? Ke, are coming off that aircraft, like Saif is like, why are you so stressed? I was landing from London at 12 in the night. I'm like, no, because I look at me, I'm looking like I've just slept. So he's like, yeah, but that's fine. He's like, and every time I'm walking out of the airport, he's like, why are you posing and walking? Just relax. <laughs> but he come out of a nine hour flight, I'm like, 
like Seth, you don't know how people are dressed. <laughs> the hair is blow dry. There's like full on makeup. So do you blow dry the hair on flight? No, I tie my amboda, my sardar wala juda that I love, and I am like this is it. <laughs> I can't. It doesn't look natural and normal, yeah, Jitesh. So now I want you to play a fashionista, and I want to give your. I am a fashionista. Your fashion comments. I want you to be a fashion critic yeah. and comment on these airport looks. So there's Alia. Alia, yeah. Alia is like uh, chic and yeah, chill, relaxed. Do you I like this vibe. Do you approve of the footwear? I like this airport look. Yeah. Because it's at least it's a bit. It's it's not staged. Okay. So what about Deepika? Always very stylish, always well put together, hmm. well styled. Hmm. I would say. Kangana. Also very stylish. Yeah. But no, now you're getting very boring. But it's styled. Katrina. This is like my airport look. That <laughs> yeah. we've just come out of, just worn that B A ka uh, that pajama suit and come out. <laughs> but I would also do that. So I think that this is her look because even she, I think, couldn't be bothered to be styled for the airport. Yeah. So num. Always a runway. Yeah. Whether in the bathroom or whether in the airport or whether, but that's She's her. Fab. Yeah, that's the way she is. It's like, it's like if she wouldn't be styled, it would be like people would be mortified. So I don't blame her, but that's everywhere is a runway. She's lovely. Her. Yeah, she has to be styled. Yeah. I'm whenever we're going for Vire outdoor, I make sure that I'll make sure that she takes another flight and I take another <laughs> flight because she'll be in a this and I'll be with my. I'm bored and my so sneakers ready to get on the flight. So you worked with all the Khans, and uh, tell me what's been like your favorite moment, and who's your favorite among all of them, including Saif Ali Khan. And please don't say my husband. So you you've answered the question for me, you're asking me the question. Besides your husband. No, I think that all of them have their own individual personalities. Yeah. It's quite amazing, and um, I have. I think I'm lucky that I have a great relationship with each of them. You were quite point. interested in working with Fawad Khan also at one point. Of course, I would have loved to. Uh, my mum, in fact, is a big fan of his mm. because of his TV shows and all that. Tell me, if a film of your grandfather were to be remade with you, which would that be? I think that's a tough one. Ideally, maybe Sangam. Yeah. That'll be lovely, na? Yeah. The original love triangle. I would love to see in Satyam Shivam Sundaram. Yeah, that the also. This thing and all that. Oh yeah, what a performance role also it was. So Sangam, Satyam Shivam Sundaram. Prem Rog. Prem Rog also. Nice. Such no? lovely characters, lovely films. Where are those films being made now? Okay, now I'll show you some of your movies on Geo Cinema, and I want you to react to that. Give me one one sort of memory. I think. The memory was, uh, I mean, I think it's just shooting in that environment in Mahabaleshwar and um, kind of the excitement of like, you know, working with so many big stars around you. And I think everybody, the best part about Omkara was that everyone thought that their role was the best. And it's strange because I do remember Seth was with his previous girlfriend at that time. And, <laughs> I was in another relationship, and it's so strange that all of us had gone out for dinner together. Really, yeah. with your respective. Yeah. Okay. So it was quite like a, a <laughs> moment, which now, of course, when I tell Saif, he's like, "Oh, really? I don't remember." I'm like, "Very conveniently, you erased it out of your memory." <laughs> okay, now I'm going to ask you. I have got your a cue card. So <laughs> should you? I? Yeah. I should be asking you. You are allowed to ask me questions at the end of the show. So, Bebo Kapoor Khan. Would you rather win the Filmfare Award for three consecutive years or win the National Award once? No, I think I'll win the Filmfare Award three consecutive Yay. years. Yeah, <laughs> of course, yeah, everyone's dream. Would you rather have a girls' night out with Kangana Ranaut or Priyanka Chopra? I think more comfortable with Priyanka Chopra, so definitely. Would you rather be poor and good-looking or wealthy and ugly? The combination, anyway, I'm neither. So uh, why can't I just be like wealthy and really good looking? <laughs> okay, I'll buy that. Would you rather have critical acclaim or commercial success? I think commercial success. Would you rather get even or get over it? Get over it. Yeah. Would you rather be able to know when your partner is lying or hear all of their thoughts? No, when my partner is lying. Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather know it all or have it all? Have it all.
and now I'm going to do something called mean tweets. So we've culled. So you called me here to basically like insult, humiliate, insult, yeah. abuse, everything. Okay, so Nirav Mehta at a cup coffee says the most annoying thing on dubsmash.com has to be the Karina Kapoor dialogues from Jab We Met. I don't think I believe that. No? It's not possible. Because none of the dialogues of Jab We Met are boring. I think everybody the maximum dub smashes are on Jab We Met. <laughs> okay, Gur Puneet Singh says whenever you feel bad, just remember that Karina Kapoor went through Kabhi Khushi Kabhi Gum with the nickname Poo for the entire film. But I think it's such a cool, you know, nickname. And Pooh is probably the most iconic character in Indian cinema. It was, I think, the first time actually a woman was so, you know, a girl was so blasé ever on screen about her thoughts, her views, so vain, You were Pooh, na, those days? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Krutika Lal at Clumsy Krusty says, I got called Karina Kapoor of the group last night. Don't know if that's a good thing or bad. Well... I can tell you that I think it's the best thing ever. It's a compliment. Uh, now your fans have something to ask you on Geo's voice and video call feature. I wanted to respond to that. Hey, hi, Karina. I'm, I'm Pramod from Kerala. Uh, as a fan, I would like to know how do you manage your personal life and uh, work life? How, how do you keep balance between both? I think women know how to multitask, which is, you know, the way we are made. I've always done that and I think that I like to take out time for my personal life. If I'm working, I like to work a certain time and then I like to, you know, take time off. And I've always been that kind of actor. Taking time off also is very important. Mm -hmm. Getting away mm -hmm. from, you know, this whole, mm -hmm. the film scene is also important. And I think both Seth and me enjoy that. So I want you to react to your film fair covers and the Geomags. Uh, tell me. What was your frame of mind when he shot this? I think Jatin had shot yeah, it. Yeah, Jatin had shot it. And I think uh, it was in 2009, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And I think just fresh in a relationship, feeling really like a sunshine girl. And I think it was, I think it's one of the hottest film fair covers. You yeah. know? Just, I think the whole vibe and everything was just perfect. And um, yeah. What about this? Sizzling revelations yeah. on love, Saif Ali Khan and Hollywood. Yeah. That time Hollywood ka itna hawa nahi tha, Jitesh. Tha? Uh, matlab, yeah. Not like now. What, what, is your, what, is, what is your take on all of them skipping? Skipping, na? Now I think everybody wants to go. Yeah. yeah. And this is, I think we shot this cover Kurban. During, during Kurban. Yeah, yeah I, I mean it's just stunning. Na? It's like royal and uh, regal and of course, I think, I mean, Saif, look at him, he looks so young at that time. <laughs> I think 2009 again it would be. Yeah, yeah. I think you've done the maximum film fair covers. I no? think so, no? <laughs> yeah. Better, because it sells. <laughs> uh, what has been your proudest moment? As an actor, as a human being? I think that I look at myself with a lot of pride. I live my life with a lot of pride. So the fact that, you know, a lot of people said that, you know, don't get married to, you know, Saif, it's at the peak of your career, you know, what what is it? It'll be over and this and that. And um, yeah, so everyone was like, you know, your career will be over. But I think some good films have come out after that, whether it was Bajrangi was after getting married, or mm -hmm. Ki and Ka was after that, Urta Punjab was after that. So I think that, you know, it's a myth that, that you know, okay, if you're married, you're not going to look your best. Or if you're married, you're like this. So I don't think so. I think that I'm, and plus then, of course, in motherhood, I think I've held my pregnancy with a lot of pride and dignity. That's mm. what I, I believe. I enjoyed it to the fullest. And I let everyone around me enjoy it with me. You know, whether it was I was still working, I was out and about. So I think this just the way I live my life, I hold that with a lot of pride. Tell me about Temur, when you, when you, when you see him and you see it, you know, babies have different changes. What, I mean, you Yeah, I mean, every month is going to be different. He's three, three and a half months, you know. So yeah. it's been, I think, yeah. And I think he's a perfect mix of Seth and me. Yeah. Um, more so like me. He's Does more mom say he's of like a Kapoor? A... <laughs> I think so. 
uh, and I think yeah, he looks exactly like my dad because I think I look like my dad. Uh -huh. So I think that he's more like my dad, uh, you know. Of course, and then Saif and me keep arguing. He's like, no, he's more like a Patoji, and I'm like, no, he's like a Kapoor. So uh, yeah, but of course, he has gorgeous sea blue eyes, <laughs> which is Aww. great. Which is like he's taken after my grandfather in Lolo. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, that he's amazing, and it's going to be I think a beautiful journey. He'll be another Killa Khan. 200%. <laughs> no doubt about that. I mean, please. Uh, the, the Khan on the block. <laughs> so thank you, Karina Kapoor Khan, for another fantastic chat. Chat. Yeah, and wishing you all the best on your new journey as mother. Thank you. And hope you continue to stay red hot, right? Always. <laughs> <laughs>